So last year I put out a video on my Komodo rig and the accessories I was using and how I would set it up for shooting, but one of the things that I was still trying to figure out at the time was how to configure this camera for shoulder mounted work. And after about six months, I've finally found the solution and it's absolutely fantastic. So this is the left field quick release and casbar system from Bright Tangerine. And I'm really grateful to them for learning me this kit so I could try it out. I've been using it professionally over the last few months and it's been an absolute game changer when it comes to working with my Komodo. I just absolutely love it. Previously, I had this small rig shoulder mount system, which I used on my EVA 1, you know, it was fine, but I never really loved it. It was big, it was bulky and heavy. You needed this large VCT plate if you wanted to mount it all onto a tripod. So this kit from Bright Tangerine is essentially the antithesis of all that. It's extremely lightweight, it's streamlined, and most importantly, it's super comfortable to shoot with. I just absolutely love it. Bright Tangerine kit certainly isn't the cheapest kit out there, but there's reason for that. You know, their products are incredibly well designed, they're durable. Getting the right setup, especially if you shoot a lot of shoulder mounted work, which is what I like to do, it's just really important. Especially for the Komodo, which isn't necessarily the easiest camera to shoot shoulder mounted with. So first up we have the left field system, uh, this can be used on pretty much any camera system you want, tend to buy it specific for your camera system as it might come with certain additional parts, in the case of the Komodo uh, it comes with this riser plate which basically just lifts the camera up a little bit so it can integrate with uh, rod mounted accessories or systems, obviously it has space for two 15mm rods at the bottom which lock in. At the bottom, the left field system just sort of connects to a standard ARRI dovetail plate. And if you've not used one of these before, it's just like another type of, essentially a tripod plate, but for larger camera setups. Uh, depending on your tripod, you can either connect it directly to your tripod or you just screw in your tripod plate and then lock it into your tripod. These longer ARRI dovetail plates, um, when you're using heavier or unwieldy camera setups, they just allow you to quickly adjust and slide your camera back and forth to adjust its center of gravity in relation to your tripod so you can get your rig properly balanced. There's a little latch on the side and it's just really easy to quickly um, lock it in or um, disengage it and lift your camera off. So with this system, especially when I'm using it on the Komodo, there are technically two release points. There's one which will connect it to your tripod and keep the system all together with your rods and accessories. But then there's obviously uh, the connection with the camera to the left field system. The one they sent me has a DJI compatible plate so that basically just allows you to quickly take your camera out, uh, leave your accessories behind and then chuck it on a gimbal um, really quickly. It's a brilliant quick release system. Uh, it's small, it's compact and it just works. So this all integrates really perfectly with the Casbar shoulder mounting system. Uh, this consists of uh, a little shoulder pad and then you have the arms and then the grips and both the grips and the pad they're made out of this weird sort of unique textured mesh material. I don't really know what it's made out of, some sort of resin or plastic. But it's interesting because it, it's great for sort of grip. It's breathable so you don't sweat a lot when you're using it. It has enough flex in it both in your hands but also when it's on your shoulder so it's pretty comfortable to use over extended periods of time. The arms, uh, they obviously connect to rods um, and they have some great flexibility in them in terms of rotation and being able to adjust the angle that they sit. So you should be able to get them in pretty much any shooting position that is comfortable to you. The extension arms uh, that connect to the grips also really usefully have additional mounting points. So if you need them, uh, that's really useful as well. What's really great also about the Casbar system is that the shoulder pad can be mounted in one of two configurations. So the first one, you can have the shoulder pad directly underneath uh, the center of the camera and the left field system and again it just uses like a the ARRI connection to slot in and you lock it down and you're ready to go. Second is you can also connect and mount into the back of the left field system and then you extend the, the size of your shoulder mounted kit and you can sort of bring your camera a bit further forward if you want. Uh, so it just provides some really great flexibility being able to use it across different camera systems, different setups where the weight is probably distributed in different areas. If you mount it to the back then you can pretty much keep it connected because it frees up the left field system to mount directly to a tripod uh, when you use an additional riser that comes with the Casbar system. If you're using it connected directly 
below the left field, it's super quick. So I just lift the camera off and then really quickly slot the uh, shoulder pad in and I'm ready to go. And that's the setup I use because it's so quick to transition. Generally when I've been working with this system, I have it set up in quite a compact way without the extension arms. I quite like the small, sort of slightly smaller form factor because I find it makes it super easy to um, quickly move from shoulder mounted work and then slinging the camera sort of lower down for lower down shot. I think that's particularly useful having this sort of set up when using my easy rig and having the slightly shorter stubbier arms just for me makes more sense and I can sort of tuck my arms in. I think if I was using it on a shoot where I was shooting shoulder mounted for longer extended periods of time then I would use the extension arms because it just allows my arms to be a bit lower down in a more comfortable position. The best bit is that this whole system packs down into a really small footprint. It's super lightweight to transport, meaning I don't have to leave it out if I want to pack light or have to sacrifice some other bit of kit because I can't fit it in my bag. So shooting with this system has been a bit of a revelation for me was really struggling at first to figure out how I was going to get this weird little Komodo camera into the shoulder mounted configuration that I love to shoot in. This bright tangerine system has been the answer for that and I love it. And it just does exactly what good kit should do which is make your shooting experience more streamlined and comfortable. You know good kit should sort of disappear into the background it shouldn't draw your attention away from what you're focusing on because it's too fiddly to use or it doesn't quite do what it's meant to or it's uncomfortable. This bright tangerine kit does what it does and it does what it does very well and I love it for that. Yes it comes at a cost, once you have invested in it you can be comfortable knowing that if you ever transition to another camera system or work on a shoot with a different camera system then you know that this is going to be flexible and versatile in adapting to different setups. So I love this kit, I super recommend checking it out. If you're trying to figure out how to shoot uh, shoulder mounted with the Komodo, hopefully this video helps. If there are any other Komodo users out there watching, I'd love to know how you set the Komodo up for shoulder mounted work. Are you using this kit? Are you using something else? Let me know in the comments down below. But until next time, see ya!